started uh, as a professional in 1933, and he started back in uh, auctions in 1940, and he's always loved the s telling stories. And uh, from the time when I was a, a young kid, I listened to his stories, and I've tried to carry on. on. I haven't found anything more fascinating and interesting uh, than numismatics. I mean, I like to say I'm in the numismatic world in spite of my father, because of course I knew he wanted me to, to be a numismatist, but I had a lot of interest, perhaps law school, perhaps sales in some other place, but really I haven't found anything so fascinating that tells us more about who we are as a civilization and a people than numismatics, and there's so many aspects of it, and I, I love learning so much about it, I learn something every day, and I love sharing what I know with others. And I know my father did that. It didn't matter how much money you had or what your interests or how old you were. My father would sit down with anyone and share his stories with them. And that's what I love doing today myself. Well, I started working for my father and uncle in 1968 cataloging auctions. And I enjoyed that. Um, in 1981, I left Des Moines, Iowa and went to California and continued the auction business until I think it was 1988 when it was just a lot of work and uh, having offices in Des Moines, Iowa and San Francisco is, is, is very difficult actually to work that. But an opportunity came along uh, where we could re-enter the auction arena, uh, the American Numismatic Association, which I've been a life member for 50 years now, uh, had an opening to do a uh, their, their spring show uh, and have an auction there. They needed the revenue from the auction company too, and and I happened to have a collection, uh, the finest collection of Beckler coins. These are coins from our nation's first gold rush, the 1830s, and. And I had that in in house. We were going to do a price list, uh, run that price list for our client. And this opportunity came on um, with the ANA, and we decided, you know what, this would be a great venue to get back into the auction business and to run that uh, collection there. And it turned out to be uh, very successful and a lot of work. But I get a lot out of it. Uh, I got to use a lot of my uh, uh, strengths, my innovation, doing something different. We have things like a contest, an international contest for the cover design. And we, did, we gave $5,000 to the winner and we got people from, I think, 20 different countries to give us entries. And we've carried that on, we'll continue, at least in the a and A auctions to have original works of art at a time where people are going digital and online only. We wanted to mesh art and numismatics because it's always been there. It's always part of what numismatics. Is. Then we started a loyalty program, the first in the nation, that if you buy in our auction, you automatically get one percent credit towards one of our auctions in the future and the next year. So. It established loyalty and it's worked and people like that and the different innovations that we were able to bring to the auction platform was great. I mean, here I am now in my 60s and still finding new things uh, to do to make it very exciting. And that's the idea, to not only make it exciting, offer something for everyone. We don't need to do thousand lot auctions, you know, many mega, mega big auctions. Um, we do a boutique auctions and have something for everyone and allow people to be able to focus on the items that we have available. So I like that niche. Don't do more than two auctions a year, but I'm really enjoying it.
Well, the Clifford collection, uh, Henry Clifford was a client of my father as he was uh, president of the California Historical Society. He built a collection of coins that was my father's and my favorite series, the coins that were privately issued as a result of our nation's three gold rushes, including California, Southern Appalachia, and Colorado. The opportunity came along in 19, uh, 1974. Uh, I'm at the uh, a and convention uh, with my father and I'm starting to write uh, a book that became the reference book for coins of the gold rush called Private Gold Coins and Patterns of the United States. Eventually that became my dissertation, my doctoral dissertation to get a PhD in numismatics. And I didn't know that at the time, but I had already started the research and, and uh, a client friend of mine came to me and said, hey, you know, this collection's for sale. And so I w went in to see it and I was given a list and there was like 121 coins on there. And some of the greatest rarities in, in Pioneer, what we call Pioneer or Territorial Gold, and uh, including a proof $50 gold piece, the only one known, uh, struck and owned by Augustus Humbert, the U.S. assayer in California. And I told my father about it. He looked at the list. He spent just uh, a matter of several minutes looking at the list and said, hey, it's worth it. And I ended up writing the check for the down payment for what was the best collection ever put together of Pioneer Gold Coins. We bought the collection. We have since sold it. We added to it. We've sold it. And many of the items, some items I've owned as many as a half a dozen times, never paying less but always pay more to own it the next time around so it's been a win-win not only for the people who bought it but for us to to have them they're old friends and you know they're not making anymore so it's great to have the availability if you treat your clients right we'll have an opportunity uh, to buy it back again and to sell it to the next person so many of the items i've sold twice three times and like i said probably a few of them as many as a half a dozen times since 1974. My father was very much involved in numismatic education and I became the first BA degree recipient from Northwestern University in, num in numismatics and later on uh, the first doctorate in numismatics from the Union Institute and University and then I have used and leveraged that uh, by being on the Board of Governors of the American Numismatic Association. My father was also on the Board of Governors. I followed in his footsteps there. I'm now currently Vice President and hope to be President uh, soon uh, to further that legacy and further the mission of the American Numismatic Association, which is to promote numismatic education.